Greetings to you from Sri Rama Hospital, Jagaypet, Andhra Pradesh. Hello, I am Dr. Yogi Ram Balisanti from Sri Rama Hospital, Jagaypet. Now I demonstrate to you the method of making single hand knotting. So I will demonstrate the materials required and the technique of making the reef knots with the hand, then with the instruments and later to make a knot in a difficult situation like in a cavity. Thank you. Knot. It is the fundamental technique of tying the ligatures or switches and fastening a stick or knot is the essential basic skill of every surgeon. There are four types of knots. One type is the reef knot. The second one is the granny knot. Both of them look alike but the difference here is see these loops. This is one loop on the left side there is another loop on the right side. Into these loops, these strands are coming. So in the reef knot, for this loop, these two strands are situated superficial and these two strands go deep to this loop. In the, reef, in the granny knot, these are the two loops, these are the strands. For this loop, one strand is coming in front, another strand is coming behind the loop. The same thing on this side. So both are not the same. The third one is the triple throw knot. It is the reef knot with additional third throw which resembles the the third throw resembles the first throw. The surgeon's knot. Here there are for the first throw there are two hitches, not one single hitch. The second and third throws have the single hitch. Out of these four types of knots, the granny knot is an insecure knot. That is why this granny knot is never used in surgical practice. Once you form the knot, the suture strands should always be pulled in exactly 180 degrees in opposite directions. That will make the knot to bed properly and to form a square knot. A square knot is a secure knot. But if you pull the strands not in 180 degrees in any other directions then the result is an insecure knot. Insecure knot is a slip knot. It will slip when the tissue swell within the ligature. Hence, one should always try to fasten a square knot that is a secure knot. The principles of knotting the suture material should be as thin as possible depending upon the tissues to be sutured. The knot should be as small as possible. Extra ties do not add to the strength of the properly formed knot. The ends of the knot should be cut as short as possible to reduce the load of foreign body in the tissues. If you make more ties than that is required, the strength of the suture material goes down. Excessive friction should be avoided between the strands of the suture while forming the knots as it may cause fraying of the suture leading to weakening of the suture material. After forming the first row, loosening should be avoided by appropriate measures. Excessive traction should be avoided on the suture strands to avoid breaking of the strands. All the knots should be either of reef, reef or surgeon's knot and should be a square knot. Hello, 
I am Dr. Yagiram Borisetti and now I am going to demonstrate to you the formation of a reef knot with single hand. If a surgeon is right handed, he should use his left hand to form the knots. So now I will demonstrate to you the method of making a knot with the left hand. The materials that are required for this are a drawing board like this, three coat hooks. So here there are three coat hooks. They are adhered to this board by a double sticker. This is IV tubing. So you tie this IV tubing in this fashion. Two ends should be nearer at one end. At the other end they should be farther away and take a bootlace. First start practicing the knot forming at this end where the two tubes are close to one another. Later you try to practice the knot making at the farther end of the tubes where they are quite apart. That means if you make the knots here that means you are making the knot under tension. So you have to practice that. So now I will demonstrate to you the method of making the reef knot. First pass the strand below the tubes, grasp it in the fingers of your left hand. So hold it between the thumb and middle finger of the left hand. The long strand should be in your right hand. Now form a loop pass your index finger into this loop. Cross the long strand over the index finger. Now you flex your index finger hooking the long strand over it. Get the index finger over the short strand and straighten the index finger. Now pronate the index finger. So the short strand has come through the loop outside. Get the thumb close to the index finger. Grasp the short strand between the thumb and the index finger. Leave the middle finger. Now the first throw is firm. Tighten the throw. Please observe. The two strands are pulled against each other in exactly 180 degrees. If you form the throw like this, it will be a secure throw. If you alter the direction and pull it, then you will get an insecure throw. This is an insecure throw. This is a secure throw. Keeping the tension on the throw like this, now you have to form the second throw. Now the short strand is now grasped in the left hand between the thumb and the index fingers. Now keep your middle finger and ring finger over the short strand. Supinate your hand. Get the long strand over to the middle and ring fingers. Flex the middle finger hooking the long strand over it get it over the short strand, straighten the middle finger. Now you grasp the short strand between the middle finger and the ring finger and leave the thumb and index fingers. Now get the short strand through the loop outside by pronating the left hand. Now the second throw is ready. Now, keeping the, both the strands <coughs> straight at 180 degrees, pull the strands in exactly opposite directions, tightening the second throw. So this is a secure reef knot. For additional security, you can make 
a third row. The third row should be just like the first row. Now the short stand is between the middle finger and the thumb. Get the index finger under the short strand, cross the long strand over the index finger and now flex the index finger hooking the long strand, straighten the index finger, pronate your hand, get the thumb near to it and pull the two strands in 180 degrees. This is how you form the reef rod, triple throw. If you are going to make a throw with synthetic material, either absorbable or non-absorbable, then you should have minimum five throws. So the fourth throw is just like the second throw. The fifth throw is just like the first throw. So there will be alternating index finger throw, middle finger throw and index finger throw and middle finger throw. This is how you form the knot with your left hand. Thank you.